Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm touring some homes coming up in our next auction. This, one, uh, this particular property is at 203 David Street. It's in Greer, South Carolina. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. It also has an extra room that we're gonna see in a minute. You can figure out what to do with it. And we have some features in the backyard that I think will be of interest. This is a foreclosed home. It was uh, foreclosed by the South Carolina Housing Authority. This is an absolute auction. It sells to the highest bidder. It's an online only auction. All bidding's on the internet. So let's take a quick look uh, around. This is, seems to be a very stable neighborhood. A little bit older and mature, but very stable neighborhood. And I think you'll like living here or using this property for an investment. Okay, just before we go in, um, we'll take a quick spin. Uh, there's a single white over here, but the uh, rest of them's uh, site built homes. It's a nice brick home across the street on a large corner lot. Has a garage, and these look to be some newer homes right up the street. Remember, we're just off Highway 14, real convenient location. All right, let's step inside the house. I'm just inside the front door. Over to our left is the kitchen. It's kind of in the center of the house. And the room that I'm in, is a uh, type of a, I don't know what you call it, a den, dining area. You can uh, eat, probably eat at this little bar area. It comes around, looks like somebody's been doing some work in here. It's been painted. I will note the front door does need paint. They put out some new floor in here in this room in the kitchen, so I'm assuming that they were wanting them, uh, these two rooms to flow together. I'm gonna, while we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and step through this door. This is the master bedroom. You'll notice it has, uh, looks like some type of hardwood floor. It might be pine. Looks like they'll finish up real pretty. Uh, somebody started uh, working on the walls in here. Looks like to me they uh, scraped the ceiling and did a little sheetrock work. Just looks like it might need some paint. Maybe change out a light fixture or two. This, this room's uh, about ready to go. They've been doing a lot of work in here. Just some paint and things. All right, then we'll step into master bath. This is a very large room. You'll notice your laundry's in here. In the master bath. Then over here you have a uh, shower tub combination. Again, the ceiling in here. Looks like somebody's been working to paint, scrape, get it ready. Uh, right around that corner is a little reading area if you need it. And then over here is a little, uh, looks like a fairly new vanity with a double sink, mirror, lights. They were Somebody was doing some work on this house at one time. Okay, we'll head back to the kitchen. All right, I'm standing with my uh, back to the wall, uh, looking out uh, the front windows of the house. And this is a kitchen. Looks like somebody's been working on a cabinet space counter space. I think they winterized the house is why they've gone in there and taken down that little wall around the water heater. There is a refrigerator here and I thought I heard it running earlier so the power must be on. And then you have this other room over here. This is the one I was talking about, the extra room. And it appears to have those same hardwood floors but they just hadn't been finished. That's a nice size room. I guess that can be a den or something off your kitchen. Maybe use the other end as a dining area. Pretty nice. Probably paint and fix up the floors. It'll be a pretty good room. Looks like the ceiling may have already been started painting. All right, and then I'm going into uh, another room. They've started sanding in here, didn't get through. This is another uh, bedroom. There's three bedrooms, two baths in this house. Ceiling doesn't look that bad. You know, a little paint and carpet, this uh, paint and floor or whatever. This, this house is going to be nice. It's on a large lot. I'm going to show you in a minute when we go out back. I mentioned earlier there might be something interesting. Looks like they started on this uh, bathroom. It looks like the floor might have been updated. Mirror, medicine cabinet. Ceiling appears okay. There's one little spot right there, but that could, I don't think that's anything. Roof's not falling in. And then uh, your tub shower combination and 
I don't think that's original to the house. It looks a little more modern. Okay, we'll step over. We have one more bedroom. They haven't started in here a whole lot. Uh, it's gonna need some paint and all. They haven't taken up the carpeting, but uh, it's highly suspicious that that same flooring might be under, under here. But these walls look pretty good. If you touch up places and the door handle went through the door behind me, but you know, that's pretty common. But not, not too bad. And if you'll notice something I hadn't mentioned earlier, there's uh, replacement windows in the house. They've already been replaced. All right, let's go out back and uh, let's check it out. All right, I'm looking at the back of the house. You'll see this uh, side porch off the driveway. Now that was that uh, extra room with the hardwoods I was talking about. If you're facing the house, it's to the left of the kitchen. Come around the air conditioning condenser was in that corner. It's disappeared. Will not be here. The roof doesn't look that bad. It had one or two shingles on the front. That you notice the neighbor over here has a uh, fenced yard. And to be honest with you, I think I'll just throw that whole shed in the dumpster and get rid of it. Now, out to the pool. The gate's locked. I, I can't get in the gate, but I've never seen anything like this. Somebody has built a frame over the top of the pool. Looked like they covered it in plastic at one time. And I, I just ain't never seen anything. I guess that was her pool cover. It looks like that the uh, pump and filter systems over here, if they work, I believe you can put a liner in this pool and, and get it going. It has a lot of concrete around it. It has a little cabana area in, the, uh, excuse me. It has a little cabana area in the back. So this is a large lot. If you look and see how far I am from the house, it's, it's a pretty good distance. Uh, I don't think you'll like it here. All you have to do is bid, it'll be yours. Okay, that's gonna conclude our tour of 203 David Avenue. It's just, uh, remember, it's just off of 14 South here in Greer, South Carolina. Just a few tips uh, you need to know about the auction. One, it'll be open for inspection. You can come out and look at the property. Also, the, there's a contract package. It has a lot of information, answer a lot of your questions. Be sure to download that, read it, and understand it before you place any bids. Also, if you have questions, you can call us. Our number's at the bottom of the screen, or send us an email, info at terryhow.com. Remember, this is an online-only auction. All bidding's on the uh, internet, and the address is terryhow.com.